Hey, is this thing on? Good morning and welcome to a daily vlog. It is early. If you cannot tell by my voice, you'll know I am not a morning person, but I'm really excited to take you all along for the day with me so you can just kind of see what a day and the life is like. So I've really been trying to be a lot more dedicated with my morning workouts. So I'm about to get into a workout. Today is barbell day, but of course, gotta warm up the muscles first to avoid injury. This is just what I've heard. I'm not a professional, but it works for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into that. So this is a sports bra top. Um, I love this because the pads are sewn in, so you don't have to worry about them like rolling all over the place when you wash. And then these are Fiker shorts. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. I'll link everything. Uh, but these are my favorite Fiker shorts, and they are from Amazon. I think they even have two packs. Um, and then I'm just going to do my waist trainer. I feel like this definitely helps me sweat a lot more um, and also it helps make sure that I'm engaging my core like while I do my warm up and everything like that. So got my watch going. I'm going to do a quick warm up ride on Peloton and then we are going to get into our barbell workout for the day. catch my breath but it's now time for barbell um and of course i try to make sure that i do it while my body is still pretty warm so i'm just gonna put on my gloves these gloves are also from amazon and then the barbell that i use is a fixed barbell um because this is like my guest room and i store all of the workout stuff in this closet here so i didn't want to have like an entire rack of weights and have to try to figure that out so the fixed barbell that i use is 30 pounds and so far that's worked out pretty well so <sighs> let's do our barbell workout <laughs> was a little bit more intense than I was initially prepared for. So I'm going to do a quick shower and get ready for work. done so now we're moving on to hair I'm not gonna put any makeup on yet because this is the last day of the work week for me so on this day we don't really have any live like I have a live meetings but I don't have any live presentations where I have to leave anything so I try to just let my skin do its thing and let the products absorb a bit more before I finish putting on my face for the day. So my hair has not been cooperating, but that's fine. I think I'm actually gonna do a little braid today. And actually I'm gonna do two French braids into like a little bun in the back. 
So I am prepping my hair for a wash day. So I'm just gonna fill it up with a lot of oil. There it is. I'm gonna talk to you guys about this oil. I am obsessed with this stuff. This is a hair growth oil from Leanne's Naturals. As you can see, I really like it. Um, when I had my box braids, I would say about a year ago, um, I had so many of them, so they were really heavy. And then also we went on a trip to Jamaica. So I was swimming every single day and then washing my hair every single day. And the weight just like pulled them down so much. So your girl had no edges. This stuff restored my edges, brought them back to life. Another product that I like is by Miel. Um, this is their scalp treatment. It's rosemary, mint, scalp, and hair strengthening oil. So I like to put this on my ends to give them some moisture. My hair gets super dry pretty much all the time, but also a lot in the winter. I just ordered some new hair products, so I'm trying to wait to wash my hair until all that stuff comes in because I need to do a protein treatment and a deep condition. So, all right, so what I do is once my hair is all nice and saturated, I'm going to, sorry, I'll have to use the viewfinder to part my hair. Actually, let's push this back just a little bit. And then I just make basically like a T in my head. And pull all of this back. And then this front part is what I am going to braid. So I am going to use my IKT wax stick. This is from Amazon to just do an initial slick to make it easier to braid. I'm going to use the hard side of my brush to brush that in. So hopefully I don't have any little pieces popping out. about halfway so that all the hair will go nicely into a bun together okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side together and I pull it back to a low ponytail then I wrap that into a bun and just secure it with another ponytail holder okay so that is the base of the style and now I just have to do my edges I am using this made edge control m-a-e-t this is from um, a company that I found from another YouTuber, and I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through my edges, get the product in there, and then brush it. This edge brush is the best one I've ever used. It is from the Pattern brand, which is by Tracy Ellis Ross. Um, I know they have it at Target, Ulta, 
so many different places so you can get it so you can see how easy that was i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side always put everything away right away or my vanity would be a mess so i feel like it's so much better to just take care of it now instead of waiting until later now again i'm gonna wash my hair so i want to get as much moisture in as i possibly can so i use this cream of nature pure honey shine mist i really like their argan oil mist a lot better i feel like this is not as lightweight for my hair but for what i'm doing it's perfect just moisture 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 so i spray that all over now my hair is done i'm gonna just Throw on these earrings. Okay, let's get dressed, make the bed, and head in to do a quick breakfast before I log on for work. camera and the mic broke off but I think I like it taped it enough and thankfully Amazon actually sells like replacement pieces so I'm gonna order that and it should be here tomorrow okay let's get into breakfast I'm gonna do a bagel I'm gonna add this meat and this probiotic cream cheese I'll do a little bit of fruit and yeah that'll be that together for the day a lot of people on my instagram stories have asked if the stanley cup is worth it i say yes it is 100 percent this size is the 40 ounce it is huge but i love the handle i love how secure the top is like the straw placement everything is perfect and i loved the reduced cups from target um i was a reduced girl i had it in so many different colors and those are really good cups too if you want a more affordable option but honestly the stanley is worth the investment it comes in a lot of colors of course i just went with like a nice neutral and then this is my organifi it is a drink that i use for energy because i can't really drink coffee um very often so it's like a powder so i just mix it with a little bit of lemon not lemon juice a little bit of apple juice and water um, and shake it up and I pre-make them so it's easy for me to go in and grab what I need for the week and I don't have to worry about trying to like get it in it's like great for antioxidants great for energy and all that kind of stuff so quick easy anything that you need to just access green juices any um I'm gonna make some immunity shots hopefully later today all that kind of stuff just like pre-put it in these bottles and it's life-saving
So that makes my life so much easier. Everything I need is already in here and ready to go. So I'm about to eat my meal prep food. Shrimp is actually one of the things that's on my food sensitivity list. Um, so to make sure that I don't get sick when I eat foods that are on my sensitivity list, I got this. This is the Ion Gut Support product and it works so well. I can't tell if that's focusing. I don't think it is. Why not? There we go. This stuff is gold. It has amazing reviews and I can tell you it works super well which has been so nice throughout this entire process. So usually while I eat lunch, I will just catch up on a few things. I actually need to text quite a few people back. Um, and then I also need to place an Amazon order um, and I'll just like watch YouTube videos, just relax for a little bit in the middle of my work day. The work day is done. We love that. Thursdays are technically my Friday, so I'm done for the week, which is very exciting. But now I've got to tackle this kitchen. I'm gonna do some dishes, load up the dishwasher. I don't turn it on until night when our energy is free. We have free nights through TXU. So I'm gonna do get everything ready now, try to hurry up so I can rush out and do a few errands. my phone my camera's too heavy and then also i've now broken the microphone so we're gonna use the phone for our time while we're out and about i'm just gonna put on a little shacket and a fragrance before we go so a couple of things initially i was like i'm just gonna braid my hair down i'd ordered a ton of new hair products and i was gonna wash my hair when they came in and get that new like curler blowout thing from Revlon um, when I went to Target. But now I'm like, I feel like I shouldn't do that because I'm this light because I am getting my hair done like next Thursday. So I feel like it doesn't really make sense for me to like wash it and put heat on it right now when I'm going to get it done again in a few days. So I think I'm actually going to do this ponytail style, but that means I have to go to the beauty supply buy the hair and then redo my hair. So I don't know y'all, we gotta figure it out. So let's go. Um, the road to the beauty supply is closed. So I need to go the long way. So I think, should I go there first or Target? I'll go there first, see if I can find the hair and then we'll go to Target and make decisions from there. Okay, let's go. So before we head out, fragrance of the day, Kaoli Musk, so good. And it lasts a really long time. And quick fit check. So same dress this is from Shein oh no there we go okay dress is Shein jacket is Shein bag is Zara shoes are YSL and we're out that I was holding they did have a human hair ponytail but it was not in my hair color which is 1b so it would have looked like very very not my hair but it's fine so I got that one and then I'm gonna try maybe to do some flexi rods because you can't really put heat in it if it's not human hair so we're gonna try it out and see how it goes but first we gotta run and target <laughs>
here's the curler product. They have one left. I'm trying to see if this is part of the 20% off sale or not. Okay, I ended up getting the hair tool. We'll see if I like it. Um, but now we have to go to Ulta because they did not have any of the lashes that I wanted to try at Target. So I know there's an Ulta in Target, I guess, technically, but um, they pretty much had nothing. So I'm going to go literally across the street to this other Ulta and see if they have it. Secured the bag. Hopefully I'll have time to try these new lashes and fix my hair when I get home. We'll see. All right, we are back home and I got the Falscara kit. I already use Flutter Habit lashes, which is pretty much the same thing. They go underneath your lash, except lately I feel like they've been looking like really clumpy after a few days. Um, and I just don't like how much buildup they get. So I'm gonna give these a try. I already took my old lashes off, but I think I should probably do my hair first and then we'll do lashes after okay so i ended up not loving this style as much as i was hoping i would um honestly it just felt so tight all day so i'm gonna try to get this done quickly because i do want to film my sunday video today so i am gonna finish up well actually start over on my hair and do my makeup and lashes and all that stuff. Hopefully before I lose daylight. No, oh, a mess. <laughs> so hopefully before I lose daylight, I can finish getting ready and have a little bit of good lighting left to film for my Sunday video. All right, so for this style, I'm gonna do a side part, kind of a deeper side part. I will insert a picture of what I'm going for. I actually got this style idea from Bria Jones. She has a video where she talks about like the different hairstyles that she's done. And this was one of them and I just felt like it was so cute. So I'm gonna give it a try. So I got my part done. I don't want a ton of hair in my part, so. I feel like so now I'm going to use a different edge control. This one's by Elux. Honestly, I don't even remember ordering this. Um, it had to be like a really long time ago, but I recently got it in the mail and it had a note like, thanks for your order and thanks for your patience. And I'm like, how patient was I? Because I don't remember ordering this. Um, and I don't love it for everyday use, but it's really great for styles like this. And it smells so good. Okay, next I'm going to go over it with this gel. This is from the Main Choice. The great thing about their gels are it's not drying and it actually has biotin in it. So it's really great for your edges to make sure that they're not thinning. Okay, now that everything is nice and slicked, let's smooth it out. So we'll go this way. So here's how the hair arrived. It's just, I probably could have gotten something a little bit shorter. I don't know, we'll see. I may have to cut this. So I'm gonna open this up and then try to put it on. All right, the instructions seem very simple. I feel like I'm capable. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is the most, okay. And you put it in here. Okay, I think I got it. 
I needed to make sure that like the wefts were touching my head. Okay, so this. Okay, I'm gonna finish securing this without hurting myself. And then hopefully I will be showing you the finished product. All right, we are done. I decided to change my part, switch it back to the center, and then I also cut this. And I actually use a little bit of heat from here on the ponytail just to tame it down a bit. And I really like it. So hopefully this will last me a few days. Um, but now we're gonna try out the lashes. So here is the kit. Basically, I'm just gonna put this on with mascara, put the lash on, and then seal it. I feel like that's easy enough. Okay, I do kind of feel like these are not gonna be as dramatic as I prefer for my lashes to be, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the bond. So I think that's on. I'm actually just pin this hair back. Not this working. Okay, that was really fast. It's not as dramatic as I typically prefer. <laughs> so maybe I'll try this glue with my Flutter Habit lashes. So now I'm gonna seal it, which I guess just makes it stay on. And then this product is the Overnighter, which is optional. I mean, they're on there. You can see the length compared to my natural lash. It's just not as drama as I like, but maybe I'll go for like a bit more of a natural look. Who knows? So I'm gonna put the other eye on now. All right, lashes are on. They are very, very natural, but I actually kind of like them. So I'm gonna do my go-to face now. So I have to start off with primer and I use a lot of hydrating products because my skin is so dry. So I actually picked up this one at Ulta today because I've been using this one. It's basically the same thing. It's just repackaged and I actually ran out. Like I've never run out of a primer. So the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Is this, is it the same? Oh wait, this is the Hydrating Primer Serum. smoothing it is like under my eyes <laughs> it's perfect so I'm just gonna powder anywhere that I want to brighten a little bit and set so I'm pretty much done now I'm just gonna add some color back to the face you know it's like I take all the color out <laughs> and then I add it back in with a bronzer. I like this NYX bronzer. 
It has been the best one that I have used so far. I'm also just going to do a little nose contour. brows they are starting to fade I actually need to make an appointment to go get them remicrobladed so oh I actually tried this new product it's I don't know if Doja Cat has a line or if she did like a collection with someone that has a makeup line but this was on sale for five dollars so oh it's pretty packaging and I needed a new liquid eyeliner, so let's see if we like it. Mm. I think I see what it was on sale for five dollars. Am I not pushing hard enough? Maybe I didn't shake it up. Yeah, it's not a great eyeliner at all. This is supposed to be jet black. Jet black wear. Maybe I did something wrong, but I mean, an eyeliner is an eyeliner. It says highly pigmented and water resistant. Just one swipe. I'm not saying anything. All right, let's do lips. Close my rings. Drenching my face. Also, these were not the same. This is a serum. This was like kind of thick and more like pasty liquid, if that's a thing. But I mean, I think it looks good and it's still hydrating. So we're gonna go with it. sun is going down it gets dark so early now so it's kind of hard for me to film during the week now but I like to get ahead on my filming so that I don't like get behind and then not have a video for y'all all right here is the final look I really like it now I need to go pick out an outfit to film in um and then we are gonna head out typically after I film um, I would start making dinner, but I think we're gonna eat dinner out tonight. So I don't have to cook, which is <laughs> very exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this daily vlog here. Thank you so much. Oh, my husband, he's coming to get me. <laughs> so thank you all so much for spending the day with me. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I really liked taking y'all along on my day. My days aren't always this chaotic, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I will see y'all in the next video for Jumpstart January. And then of course I will see you on Sunday for your weekly dose of self-improvement. Like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.